let's talk about torque in a motor and how that translates to the power of a tattoo machine. So high torque motor, high power tattoo machine, not necessarily. So torque, to simplify it, is the power that a motor produces. There is a little more that goes into the force that you feel on the needle end of the machine though. So, and, and also the effectiveness of that tattoo machine in tattooing. So to, to simplify it, the force that the motor produces doesn't always translate into the force that you feel on the needle end. Um, a high torque motor will produce more force on the downstroke, but the stroke of the machine makes a lot of difference. So a longer stroke will have more force because you're adding speed to that needle velocity. The, the reason that I don't use high torque motors in my machines is because I rely more on uh, mass to get that force on the needle end. So if you understand that there's a relationship between speed and mass uh, to get that. So what I like to do is I like to pair not only rotational mass, but uh, mass and the movement with my machines. That way, when that mass is in movement, it creates force on the, the needle end but it's force that is subject to speed. So as it reaches uh, resistance, that speed slows down and that force goes down. That makes for a lot more forgiving tattoo machine because you get the force when you need it. You get that snap on, the, on this needle tip, but then it bogs down and then the force goes away. So if you're lining with a big line, you're not worried about blowing it out or uh, overworking it. If you're shading, uh, same thing. You're allowing those needles to slow down in the skin, hang in there for just a fraction of a second, allow it to do its job, open that cavity behind the needles to allow that ink to come in. It's all about more pigment with less holes. That's gonna give you brighter tattoos, uh, faster healing tattoos, and more ink retention when those tattoos actually heal up. On a high torque motor, this is, uh, this is a pancake motor. This is what is uh, in like 99% of pen machines out there. It has torque coming down, so you feel that force coming down, but it doesn't rely on rotational mass. So there's not a lot of mass in that movement and it has the same torque, the same force coming back as it does going down. So it doesn't respond to the skin. Um, if, you, if you've ever had a machine where, you, where you're running it and you feel that force and you feel it in your stretching hand, you feel like you're hitting that skin the way you should, but you pull away, but maybe you're not saturated as much as you thought you would be, or uh, or the ink just isn't going in the way that you uh, thought it would at that force, then you're probably experiencing something like that where it's just exiting the skin too fast. Where, and it's, and it's hard to feel that. It's hard to feel uh, how fast it's exiting the skin. So that, that would be a symmetrical stroke. That would be a non-dynamic stroke as opposed to a dynamic tattoo stroke where it's different coming down and coming back. Um, it's just the difference of, uh, it's, it's, it's the difference of making a needle go up and down and actually making something that is, uh, it, it is making your job easier. So hopefully that, that clears up the relationship between motor torque and the, the power or the force of a tattoo machine. And if, if you guys have any other questions, please 
comment, please let me know. Any future video ideas, uh, I'd, I'd love to tackle them. So uh, yeah, appreciate your time, thanks.